Okay, and good morning from Cold River Campground in Chatham, New Hampshire. First full day up here, just got here last night. A little later than I would have liked. Came in around, uh, got here around just before six. You see, I got a nice little setup going though. It takes me a while to get this set up. I still gotta streamline this a bit. And you can see the uh, bike is hiding under the canopy because it was raining pretty good when I got here last night. A couple of times there, I almost contemplated uh, pulling over and letting the rain pass because it was coming down so hard. Uh, yeah, everything set up here, including the porta pot again. The downside to this place here is that somebody seems to like running a generator. But the setup's working well. Water tank and the uh, Wolfen is doing well. And the solar panel, that's charging the batteries up nicely. You got a nice little setup going here, though. Pretty well enclosed from the street side. Trailer did just fine again. Everything's going fine up here. It's a yeah, nice big sight too. Kind of enjoying this one. Lots of room to move. Probably didn't need as big of a sight as I got, but hey, it's what I reserved. That's what I got. I didn't know what I was getting. A little uh, Spot X satellite communicator is doing well here. My only communications from here because I don't have any uh, cellular service out in this area. I'll be riding the bike out later today and uploading some photos and stuff to Facebook. I'll get breakfast started. Get some uh, bacon, have my coffee, got my music ready to go. See the cool is nice and cold, 37 degrees. A little chilly, it was actually, uh, what was it, 61 when I got up this morning. So it's a little chilly out here, but not too bad out. It's going to warm up, I guess, to later today. Yeah, I got a small fire going there to help uh, keep uh, the mosquitoes and that away. Other than that, uh, we'll check in on as we go along here. Decided to keep breakfast simple today. Scrambled eggs with some cheese, bacon, and some English muffins. And of course, I got my coffee and my orange juice. So. Should get me going for the day. This site used to be a really nice rest area. Unfortunately, they've let it go into disrepair. But way up this hill here, I'm trying to remember where it was. And there pic were picnic tables up there and a nice overlook. You could look down at the uh, area here. I'm almost up to the peak of Evans Notch now. Trying to remember how to get up there now. Used to be a stairway, that's gone. Or a walkway or something. It's all gone now, which is a shame. Took it all out, I don't know why. All just overgrown. The pathway over here. Let's see where this goes. Seems to be the way. Ah, yes, there's some stairs. Good. I don't see any more picnic tables or anything up here. I see a chipmunk, though. Yeah, we used to come up here, we'd have a picnic dinner and the family. But, we've let the site go to waste now. Too bad, not a good spot. Good view from right here, though. Very good view.
I'm not sure what the significance of putting all the pennies on this grave is, or quarters, or all the money. That's interesting. Times I've been up to Evans Notch, I've never noticed this here before. Very interesting. There's flowers here too. Colorful. And of course, what a place to rest. This is Evans Notch. You can see 1,458 feet. I made it to the other side of the notch on the scooter. Found some good cell phone service out here, caught up on some stuff. Now I'm getting ready to head back home again, or back to the campsite anyway. Took a bit of hiking to get here. I found a geocache today. I already signed the logbook, but just to show you what's in there. Old toys, trinkets, things like that. Logbook. That sort of stuff. Things are fun to find. They're pretty much all over the place, too. And back there. It's off the trail. Behind it there you got a nice babbling brook here. And a really cool bridge, probably uh, well designed for uh, snowmobiling in mind. Let me try an experimental camping dinner tonight. I'm be making pizza in this cast iron pan. Not sure how well it's going to work. I don't have a cover for the pan. I meant to uh, bring something along for that. So I won't be able to cover it to get the cheese to melt right, but hopefully the heat from the uh, flames and the, inside the cast iron will Get the cheese melted and we'll see what happens. Okay, right, so we're going to start off with one of these Mama Mary's pizza crusts I found at Market Basket. The pre made crusts. Normally supposed to bake them in the oven. Got some basic ragu sauce, triple cheddar, and a few olives. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got the crust in the pan. You see, it's uh, pretty simple. Throw some sauce on it. Spread that out. Throw some cheese on. And you're not going to put too much cheese on. Give it a chance to melt. And of course the olives. And I'm going to put all of them on. I know, bad joke. Gas on, turn the heat on. Down to a low simmer. And let's see what happens. It seemed to have cooked up pretty good. No, it doesn't have the browning on top of it like you normally have in a pizza. Got the cheese melted, everything's cooked. We'll let you know how it is in a moment. Let's see how it is. The crust is certainly crispy. A little too crispy. <laughs> All right, perfect. Mm. Nice crispy crust. Anyway, that's a little overcooked. Mm. Not bad. That worked. Ah, that's a front.